Spark Workshop is a studio that I started two and a half years ago. I wanted to create a space that was both community and creative to allow people of all different disciplines to come and have a good space here in Brooklyn uh, in Sunset Park. We have a couple of uh, high-tech people doing things like 3D printing, a lot of woodworkers, we have painters. We have uh, another amazing sculptor, her name is Unjin. she's from Korea, but she does uh, amazing carving and, and, and woodworking combined with sculpture that, that is, is out of this world. It's, it's really becoming a very interesting community here. Hi, my name is Paul Kruger, and I make sculptures and furniture out of reclaimed wood and fallen trees. The idea that, you know, all of this wasted material could be reused and reformed into something new, that's, I think, what appeals uh, about it to me. Uh, taking something that has lived uh, a life of its own and then reshaping it, reforming it into a whole entire new thing. The work is constantly evolving, and I think that's from picking up new skills, new tricks, you know, new ways to transform this amazing material. Um, and so while the basis may be the same, I, I really love creating new things and really pushing it and seeing, you know, how can I make this turn? How can I make this float? How can I make it look like, you know, almost the impossible? Hi, I'm Gordon LaPlante. And I'm Anna Lee. And we're part of G-Create. We build, manufacture, and sell 3D printers out of our shop space here in Industry City. And so we, uh, we started our company uh, about a year and a half ago out of our apartment in, in Brooklyn with about five 3D printers running 24-7, uh, manufacturing and shipping. Pretty much about half of our, about half of our Kickstarter campaign pledges out of the, the apartment. No, actually all of them. All of them. Minus the international printers, we That's true, yeah. every printer out of our apartment. <laughs> <laughs> so it was quite the journey. <laughs> and uh, we've been here in, in Industry City for about almost about a year now. And uh, it's, it's really helped us actually grow because we can uh, actually expand and, and grow our company. The way this works is you actually have a spool of plastic that looks almost like a wire. This spool is hard plastic. And uh, the extruder itself works very similar to a, uh, a hot glue gun. In a hot glue gun, you have a, a hard piece of glue in the back that squeezes through a very hot nozzle. Well, in this, it's the exact same way, where you have that spool of plastic filament coming down and being forced into a very hot nozzle in the end. Uh, that nozzle means that it's depositing layer by layer all of this plastic and building up the model. All of the settings for that are set in the computer, so you can change how strong you want the part to be, um, uh, you know, how, how many walls you want it to have. There's, there's a lot of settings you can play with in order to, uh, to achieve your results. People now are able to manufacture and assemble things in a very different way that uh, they weren't capable of doing before. So, in you know, the next three to five years, you're going to see an incredible wave of people and, and a wave of new materials coming out that's going to really expand beyond where it's even at now. My name is John Harris, and I am the founder and owner of a custom woodworking company called Grain Control. We started out doing mostly custom furniture, uh, but we've expanded into doing a lot of fabrication now. I've got uh, a series of longboard coffee tables. I also do work for major companies like Spotify, Second Story, Control Group, and KBSP. Uh, one of the things that I really love about woodworking is very simple geometry and what sort of powerful feelings you can, uh, can impart with just things like geometry. So I've worked uh, doing a lot of these sculptures that have uh, very simple geometric rules but create very complicated patterns that I find to be incredibly evocative and beautiful. Pieces of work that use minimal screws, minimal nails. Uh, a piece like this has absolutely nothing but wood joinery. This is really my passion project and what I, what I try and work, for, work towards uh, in my free time. Up to now, I've had great success trying to have a high level of craft and creativity, but as well as run a, run a functional business. I, I originally came to New York uh, for an IT career. As a hobby, I had always been some kind of artist, and sculpting probably drew me the, the most. So I cultivated my uh, sculpture in, in apprenticing with a very talented 
a sculptor over in, in Soho. His name is Carter Jones and learned a tremendous amount from him and really improved my sculpting abilities. I, I now am trying to make my way as a sculptor and as owner of Spark as well. Spark is definitely the, the, about the size that I want and, and it definitely uh, is allowing me and others to do what we want to do here. I, I feel this is, is a community that that artists can come to, craftspeople can come to, and, and explore what they want to ultimately do with, with their creativity.